Hey guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to go over the print settings presets in Epson's Garment Creator uh, for the F2100. So how to decide which of the presets uh, that you wanna pick. So Epson's Garment Creator comes with five default uh, presets that you can use and then you can add your own these five up here black color t-shirt use garment black light color dark color t-shirt dark color they all they sound similar but they're all um, a little bit different so how do you know which one you are going to pick and how is that going to affect um, the design itself and also how is it impacted by the color of the shirt so First thing that you want to do, decide the color of shirt that you are using. So if you are using a black shirt, you obviously don't want light color or light color high speed. So you are already down to dark color, dark color with standard, or dark color with an image that has black in it. So if you have a design that has black in it and it is going to be on a black shirt, you can basically use the garment black as the black in the image. So for example, let's say we are going to use this image right here um, that I'm pulling in. Whoops, it's flips backwards. Let me fix that real quick. It was set up uh, for DTF. So, oops, and we'll switch that. Okay. So this black that's in the image, what it's going to do if we are using black color t-shirt used garment is it's not going to print this black. This is actually going to essentially be knocked out and what you're seeing there, and I can't really demonstrate it here, but what I'm telling you it is, is that is the color of the shirt. So you will see the color of the shirt through there um, if you use this selection, okay? Now, let's say you pick um, dark color, light color shirt um, and standard, okay? Light color t-shirt, standard. So what that's going to do is now you've got the same shirt or you've got the same design, but this time it will print black because there's no black on the shirt to show through. However, what you can see, so see how you can see the, the grid lines through here? It's actually not going to print the white, all right? So that's what you want for that. Now, let's say you have a dark colored t-shirt. Let's pick this and you tell it standard. So what it's going to do with dark color standard is it's going to print all of the colors, white, CMYK, and it's going to print the black. So this one, it's going to print the black because you didn't tell it to use the garment black, all right? So that's the difference for that. Now, if you look at the little icons next to the presets it it shows you what it's going to do okay so it's showing you that for this light color t-shirt it's not going to print white at all okay for this one it's a dark color t-shirt and it is going to print white it's going to print white on the back so that it pops through because it's a dark color and it's also going to print any white um, that's in the image okay and then light color t-shirt um, is really you're only going to use that obviously if you have the light colors, but it's going to be higher speed, so lower resolution. And you can see how um, the the um, settings are changed by looking down here in the actual print settings. So if we compare light color T-shirt high speed, see the print quality is a level one. Level one means high speed. Level three, we're going for quality. Okay, so the print quality here is a 720 by 720 DPI. Now, if we picked light colored t-shirt standard instead of the high speed, you see what's gonna happen. The print quality increases to two, and now we're getting two passes of color as opposed to, or and now we're getting two additional passes uh, for four instead of down here where we only had two, okay? so. That's how you're going to determine what you're using. Now, let's say, what would happen if, you know, you had a red shirt, for example? Well, you can, you can get an example. You can see what that looks like um, in Garment Creator by going to View and View Color, View Background Color, okay? So let's say we change that to red. And now we can see what our image looks like 
on a red shirt, okay? So you might actually, instead of using the light color for that, whoop, and we gotta change it back to red there. You can see that like, see how this doesn't have much opacity? You need to increase the opacity if you want that to be um, more vibrant. So you actually, for a red, you might actually want to tell it that you're doing a dark color t-shirt. And that way, again, let's change, let's change this. I wish it would stay. It's gonna put some white down behind it and see how now you've got a much higher opacity. And in addition to that, it's printing the white, okay? All right, so that's a basic overview of how to know what preset to use. But really, take a look at the little icons that are next to it because it is gonna tell you exactly what it's going to print.